Hello everyone, welcome to the Automotives. Today in this video, we will discuss what is immobilizer and how it works. Nowadays, in modern automobile era, almost every premium car is equipped with immobilizer and capability of vehicle and capability of vehicle. Immobilizer is advanced security system who uses the advanced technique and algorithm to identify the original car key and prevent the vehicle hijacking with the duplicate master keys of theft masters. Today in this video, we will discuss what is the meaning and function of immobilizer, construction and circuit diagram of the immobilizer and at last we finish the video with the working of immobilizer. Immobilizer is an advanced security device equipped in modern automobiles who prevents the car from hijacking by identifying the original transponder key through its special coded signals. Immobilizer is so well designed that it controls the fuel injection system and ignition system which allows to prevent the car starting even after the bypassing ignition switch. In short, Immobilizer is advanced security device who improves the anti-theft capabilities of vehicle. Immobilizer is a built-in feature in ECU of a car. But to understand it easily, we use an animated diagram. Normally, with the ECM of vehicle, engine management unit and electronic ignition system are connected, which are also controlled by it. And other than that, the car key dock of a vehicle contains the electromagnetic coils, which are connected and controlled by ECU as well. In standard car key, a transponder chip is kept hidden inside the plastic cover. This transponder chip contains the copper coil and hard-coded signal transponder circuit. In case of keyless entry, the transponder chip is often connected with the battery kept inside the remote. When you insert the correct key in your car, the magnetic field generated by magnetic coil is interrupted by copper coil inside the key. As per the Faraday law, current is produced inside the coil which powers the transponder. Transponder broadcasts the spatial coded signal which is later received by ECU. ECU identifies the key code and confirms that the key is genuine and thus it starts the ignition as well as fuel injection system. And later, while cranking, you can start the engine. If you insert the duplicate key, it transmits the wrong code or even don't transmit the code which means ECU fails to identify the keys and thus engine cannot be started due to ignition and fuel system cutoff. In case of the keyless entry, the transponder uses the remote battery and transmits the signal which further received by ECM and thus car can be started. Thank you for watching guys. This is all for today. Please give a thumbs up on this video and subscribe to our channel The Automotives. Please hit that bell icon so you get the notification whenever we upload this kind of cool animated video. Thank you for watching again. Peace out.